Wants to learn how to do this review text with moving objects? Come with me to find out! First, we need to go to the part of which you want the text to appear. In my case, I want the text to appear from behind this car right here. So here will be the starting point. Here in this section, go for Toolbox, Titles, and go for this basic title here. Apply it to the starting point you've created. Now, let's change the text a little bit. I think it's too big, so I think, for my case, 67 is enough. I'm going to type Drift in here, and scroll down a little bit to change the position of X and Y of the text to be exactly behind this car right here. Let's reveal it. Perfect! I just need to increase the duration of the text until the car passes in the front of the text to make it disappear later as well. Now, I'm going to copy the video I have and place it on the top of the text, like a sandwich you're seeing here. Now, let's go for Color tab. Click here at this window icon. And then go for Nodes. Right click on the background and select Add Alpha Output. Connect the blue square to the blue circle here. Now we can go to the window part. Click on this pencil icon. But the problem with my video is that the geometry of the car is not consistent. In my video, for example, the first geometry of the car is facing to the left, the second one is facing to the front, and the third one is facing to the right. So we need to make some adjustment into this layer. Let's go back to the Edit tab here, and, depending on your video, you might have two or more geometry changes. In my case, I have three. The car in this left position is the first one, so I'll cut the clip until it is like that. Now, I have the car here beginning to face rightward. I'll cut the clip again in this portion I believe the text will be. I can adjust that later, don't worry. Now, let's go back to the beginning and color tab and begin the magic. Be careful with the video you selected, we want the very first one, and then we go to the second, and then we go to the third. This is very important. Firstly, I'm going to draw the geometry of the car and close the geometrical shape until it covers all the text. After I'm done, I'll click in this icon tracker here and click on this track forward. This will save us a lot of time. The AI has done the final part for us, but I'm going to add a dot here to adjust this part that the text is appearing and... Here we go! Now, let's go back to the Edit tab. Let's choose this clip from the middle and go back to the Color tab. I'll draw everything again considering the new geometry of the car. Click again at the Tracker icon, and there's this part right here that begins to change the geometry again. And it's hitting the text with the HUD. To fix this mistake, I'll go back here to the Edit tab and then drag a little bit to the left, so I can change this third part right here. Click on the third part and let us go back to the Color tab. Here, I'll draw the final geometry of the car and press Tracker again for the AI tool to do all the job for me. There's this part that the text appears that should not appear. So I'll go here in the video of which the text is all covered by the car, and we'll go one last time to the Edit tab right here and decrease the duration of the text appearing on the video. Just like that, we've made the final adjustment of our video with a complex changing geometry. Thanks so much for watching till the end, and see you on the next video!